you know what? I'm not going to stop it and start over again. I'm going to let you see this. This was not planned, but I just, uh, ju I just became overwhelmed with emotion because of the phone call I got this morning. And I, I've tried a few takes here, but I just can't stop crying. <clears throat> so I'm not even gonna try. I'm just gonna tell you what happened. I'm gonna tell you about the phone call I received. It came early this morning at about a quarter after eight. I was out here in the yard. I hope that was a honeybee that just flew by me and I hope it goes up here and gets stuck in my traps and brings the rest of its colony. All right, so I came out this morning early it's Monday morning, normal day. Uh, I was walking around the yard, making sure there was no clutter, no debris, no sticks, no limbs, no toys, because uh, it's time to start mowing. It's that time of year again. Spring is upon us, I love it. And now comes the time for me to mow the approximately three acres of our six acres that we mow. And, I got a phone call, I answered my phone, and there was a guy on the line who works at a local business, and he told me that I just won a raffle. And I, he, I'm not gonna say the name of the business, but I told him, you know, I shopped there. It's actually where we bought our, well, we, bought, we buy some stuff there. I said, I, I didn't enter any raffle. And he said, oh, well, uh, I guess, you know, you're in our preferred members club rewards or whatever, and that's how we got your name. And now I am in that because when we bought something that was considerably priced here about, well, some time ago, I wanted to get points. I thought it was like one point per dollar, but it's not. It's like five cents per dollar, whatever. But I signed up, I gave my name and my number. So he tells me that that's where they must have pulled my name for this raffle that I won that I never entered. And so I said, okay, well, great. What did I win? A gift certificate? Like if I come in and spend a hundred bucks, you give me $5 off or something? <sighs> he said, no, sir. He says, you've won a gas powered 25 ton log splitter. I was like, what? And I held the phone back like this to look at the number to make sure this guy was calling from where he was calling from, making sure it wasn't one of my buddies playing a joke on me. It wasn't. I. I said, you've got to be kidding me. He goes, no. He says, uh, when can you come pick it up? I was like, you're serious. He goes, I'm very serious. Or he says, can you come pick this thing up? Doesn't have to be today, but otherwise we need to give it to someone else. I was like, no, if it's, if I want a free gas powered 25 ton log splitter, I said, I'll come down now. I said, I'll come get it. And I did. As you can see, if you get my six, you may or may not see something else up here in the wood line, but you're seeing the log splitter right here. So I'm driving down there and I'm thinking, there's got to be a catch to this. This is a setup. I've never won anything. I mean, I've won plenty of competitions back when I was a competitive middle distance runner. I won all the time. But as far as like a raffle, I don't gamble because I'm too good at math. I know the odds are in favor of the house. You're never, that's just a losing game. Even the lottery scratch off tickets, I don't play that because I know that that's how the state gets their, you know, uh, certain dollars back. I'll say it that way to be polite. So I get down there. The guy that called is running the register. I'm like, hey, I got called. You guys said I want a log splitter. He goes, oh yeah, yeah. He goes, go back there, pointed to the back. He says, uh, mention the guy's name. I won't say his name here. He says, he'll help you get it loaded up. I said, I honest to God won a raffle. He's like, yeah, congratulations. Hope you enjoy it. 
So I go back there and there's this guy. I'm going to refer to him as an old young person because he was probably, I'm 47, he's probably 20 years younger than me, but he's kind of, he was polite and, and pleasant to deal with, but he's kind of gruff, kind of old beyond his years, not necessarily wise beyond his years, but he seemed kind of cranky, kind of crabby. Maybe he's just having a bad day. So I said, hey, I'm so-and-so, I won the log splitter. I'm the guy that won the log splitter. I'm here to get it. And he went, <laughs> yeah, like that. And I was like, this is it. This is the catch. I go, is there something wrong? He goes, no, 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 I'll help you. He says, pull your truck around here. I'll help you get it hooked up to your, your tow hitch. I was like, well, I don't have a tow hitch. He goes, well, you need to go buy one. I was like, ah, that's it. This is how you got me. You convinced me I want a log splitter. So I'd have to come down here and buy a tow hitch. He goes, are you serious? I'm like, yeah. I said, I knew there was some kind of catch to it, and this is it. This is how you sell tow hitches. He goes, man, you can get a tow hitch with a ball on it, and you'll need a two-inch ball for $50. He goes, this wood splitter costs $1,300. I'm like, are you serious? He goes, yeah. Does that math make sense to you? And I was like, no, I guess not. He goes, go get you. Uh, a, a hitch, standard size hitch, make sure it's got a two inch ball on it and meet me out here outside these doors. I was like, all right. So I went, I got the hitch, the ball, I paid it to register, went out to my truck, put the thing in, drove back around to the side uh, uh, where the gate was, where he, he had this thing ready to go. It's amazing. It's kind of heavy, but it's easy to move on these wheels and everything. So... He's helped me hook it up. And I said, man, I'm going to go. I said, anytime I go shopping anywhere retail now and they ask me to sign up to be a preferred rewards member, I always say no because I just don't want them having my phone number and email address, you know, to send me marketing information. I said, I'm going to sign up everywhere I go now. I'm going to see if I can win me another raffle. He says, man, you didn't win no raffle. I was like, what are you talking about? Of course I did. How do you think I got this slog splitter? He goes, man. He says, some woman came in here this morning and bought and paid for this log splitter and told us to call you and tell you you'd won a raffle so you wouldn't know who she was. I was like, what? He goes, yeah, says she watches you on the internet or something like that. Said you'd been sick or something and she knew you split your wood with a maul and a 10-pound sledgehammer and she just wanted to help you out and buy you a log splitter. They actually just went on sale today, I guess, for $999. And she just didn't want us to tell you about it. So we we went along with the idea that you want a raffle. And man, I was shocked. Shocked and kind of creeped out. And if you're watching this lady, I'm, which I'm sure you are, and I wasn't even going to make a video about this, but this is the only way I could think to reach out there and thank the person that did this for me because I have no clue who she is. I asked the guy, I'm like, come on, man. You told me I didn't really win a raffle. You told me some lady bought this for me. Who is it? I want to be able to thank her. And he says, I am not telling you that. I said, man, I've got to be able to reach out there and thank her. I've got to get in contact with her. A thousand bucks, man. That's a lot of money. And he said, not for her, it ain't. I was like, really? So is she rich? He goes, yeah. And I was like, come on, who is it? And he said, I'm not going to tell you. He says, what I'll tell you is she ain't looking for no hanky-panky. She's a happily married woman. She's probably old enough to be your mom, my mom. She didn't want us to tell you. And I asked one more time. I'm like, guy, I've got to go tell her thanks. A thousand bucks. She might be rich. That might not be a lot to her, but that's a lot to me. I want to be able to say thanks. He said, man, I can assure you she could reach into any of her hundreds of purses right now or pocketbooks and scrounge up a thousand dollars in loose change. She ain't out nothing. She's a sweet lady. We know her. She's from around here. Just be grateful. And uh, <sighs> well, I am. And uh Again, I mean, I'm not trying to make this video to say, ha ha, look at me, because I know there's a lot of people that are all, you know, I stopped making firewood videos some time ago because I couldn't make one without being critiqued by dozens of people telling me how I need to use one of these. And now that I have one, I'm sure those same people will tell me I have the wrong kind. Well, dear viewers, 
I have the perfect kind. The free kind. Free to me. Now, I mean no disrespect by that, ma'am. If you're out there watching, I'm sure you are. Again, I couldn't think of any way to reach out there other than this to say thank you than this. So thank you. I, I brought it home. I got it put here. I put fuel in it. And I started it up. It's very simple to start up. Uh, because the guy at the store said it might sputter at first. Said it would start up on the first crank if I turned the choke on, which it did. It did sputter a little bit. He said it might smoke some to get some of the factory oil out of it. It never smoked, but it, it sputtered for maybe a minute, then it stopped. So to, to prove to this wonderful woman, whoever she is, uh, that this is going to go to good use, I'm going to demonstrate it right now. This isn't going to be a tutorial, but I, I, I wanted to say thanks, and I'm going to show you. How easy this is. What kind is it? I don't even know. It's a country line, 25 ton gas splitter. I'm reading the stuff on it. It says fast, 11.5 second cycle time. So I'm gonna crank it up. And, and, and I've never minded busting this stuff up with the sledgehammer and with the mall. If you've been here at the channel for a while, you know that's the only way I've ever done it for years. And, and I split a lot of firewood. Uh, but now I'm going to be able to just split it up. I'm going to move my truck back around here, back it up, and just split it, throw it in the truck, back the truck up, and put it in the stacks it belongs to. I know it's going to save me time, uh, and I appreciate that because I can get more writing done. Uh, Bigfoot Sasquatch Files Volume 10 is on hold for a reason. You're going to be excited about that when I tell you about it here in a couple of days. Um, for those of you who have read one through nine, you're in for a big treat. I'm putting my ear pro in now. The thing's not very loud, but I lost most of my hearing during the war. I, I want to keep what little bit I got left. And it's always a good idea to use ear pro. And then I'm going to use eye pro. Pro means protection. For those of you who don't understand military terminology, get my six means get my back. You can watch back there and see if him, her, it, or they show up to watch me demonstrate my new toy so uh you got to turn to start it you got to make sure the fuel line is on make sure the kill switch is 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 not on that's how you turn it off and you just crank it up watch okay kill switch is off shouldn't have to choke it because i had it running a few minutes ago maybe not i will choke it now Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, on. Choke's on. Oh, the kill switch was on. I, I just got it. I mean, I just 10 minutes ago pulled this in my yard. So the kill switch was in the off position. Now I've got it turned on. I'm gonna turn the choke back off. Okay. The fuel line's on. So again, the reason I had to pull a couple times there had nothing to do with the machine. I was using it incorrectly. There's a kill switch. I had it in the off position from where I just turned it off. Watch. Now, if I put that in the on position, watch this. running smooth let me show you it's with this big wall This half piece of log probably weighs 30 pounds. That's about a 60 pound log. This is green red oak. I would have had to hit that thing with my 10 pound sledgehammer, my diamond maul. 
about six or eight times just to do that. You see how easy this is? I'm just pulling a lever. Now, I have entered it. I have been entertaining the idea of getting one of these, and it's not because, you know, I, I mind doing the physical work. I actually, I don't, I love it. But a lot of my wood can't get split past a certain point because it'll have a knot in it. And as you can see, I have chipped this thing away as much with my ax and my maul as I could, but knots just, it's super hard to split. You've got to let them dry out for about a year year and a half before you can split them and even then it's hard so I want to see because I and this stuff burns good because the wood grains real tight puts off a lot of heat burns slow so I want to see if I can split this with this thing let's try it Now look at that. That alone makes this thing worth having. Uh, I, there's no way I could do that with a maul and a 10 pound sledgehammer. Whew. So again, and if you do watch this channel on a regular basis, you know I don't make videos. Uh, you know, there's a lot of YouTubers. This, this is one thing that turns me off about YouTubers. They wanna make these videos where they show their grand houses and their grand vehicles and all these things that just is a turn off we go out of our way not to do that uh, we live a very simple non-materialistic lifestyle anyway even my new ish truck back here we've had for more than a year i wouldn't even let it be seen in the videos until i somehow accidentally let it be seen in the videos and so many people started saying hey did you get a new truck uh, nobody owes me anything i don't have a paypal <laughs> my Beautiful Bride Dearly, a.k.a. Giggly Girl, she does. I don't have a PayPal attached to this channel. Uh, I don't even like to go live because when I do, people often contribute donations. So I've gotten away from doing that. Um, I consider it a privilege and an honor and a blessing to possess the ability, which is a gift from my creator, to be able to work and to earn <sighs> whoever you are that bought this for me you have no idea how much I appreciate you I am so grateful